everybody. Mike Drutar, Principal Broker, Next Home Paradise Realty, bringing you another property tour. Today, I have a special, special property for you. We have an oceanfront home listed at just under $10 million. And this has got some exquisite finishings inside. A lot of things that we've never even seen on this channel before, so it's really, really cool. You're gonna see things that uh, I don't know if you've ever seen in a home. There are some things I haven't seen in a home. Uh, some really awesome attention to detail. Uh, really cool. I'm going to show you as much of I ca as I can of the outside, the inside. And I'll tell you my three favorite things about the property. I can already tell you. I've run through it. There's nothing I'm going to change. So that's not happening. Let's get right to it at the beginning. First thing, you got two car garage. We got a standing seam metal roof. We got solar photovoltaic on top. We are fully guttered. We got tiki torches here lining on the side. Really, really nice. Owners next door are starting construction on their home. They tried to do the foundation pour that was done here with concrete piers and a concrete slab on top. They were told the price was close to $3 million just for that. They're not gonna be able to do that now, it sounds like. Or they're changing their, they're pivoting is the word we use these days. Um, so this was built really, really well back at a time where it didn't cost quite as much to build. And so they're able to put a lot more into it. Solar PV, I mentioned, and then check out all the in-phase battery systems. Pretty awesome on that. We have first thing that we're going to jump out at. Well, I mentioned the Tiki torches, but check out this driveway. I like it when you have the uh, poured concrete to look like lava rock with the grass in between. Looks absolutely sharp. But then check out... We're not talking walls with wood. We're not talking exterior walls uh, with stucco or even plaster. You got tile, this beautiful stone tile on the exterior of a lot of your walls. As we come in a little bit closer, we do mix in a little bit of stucco. Lava rock wall here at the entry. Space for, I believe that's gonna be a keypad to get in here to your security gate. Oh, by the way, did I mention we are oceanfront on this property and we are short-term vacation rental eligible. So uh, you could monetize this. I wouldn't even, I'm guessing this is, you know, like five grand a night or something like that for something here. Um, there is a lot to get to. Let's start rolling with it. Check out this entry. You like that? You got these pavers. There's, a, there's tight enough gaps here in between that you don't have to worry about missing one going here into our front door i'll check that out in a minute and then coming over here to nice little seating area with the water feature we got another uh, empty lot or two on the other side now we've got a keypad entry to the service door back there i believe that's the service door uh, nice work on this good lava rock wall got our flame palms Got more tiki torches over here. And uh, I just love this entryway. How cool is it? Keypad entry into this studio little room here. Check it out. King size bed. Obviously level five sheet rock. We've got the gray accent wall behind us. Plenty of room on either side. And then we have, I guess this is, looks even bigger than two foot. Maybe... 30 inch by 30 inch, maybe it's 24 by 24, but I think it's 30 inch by 30 inch or something along that size. Large format tiles that are uh, staggered, really nice. And then, yeah, tight grout lines on this too. Good job, very nice look. And then they use that large format tile as the baseboard, ooh, that's my shoe, as the baseboard going around. Got another door exterior, 10 foot ceilings. You see we got our, I think that's a Daikin or Mitsubishi um, air conditioner, nice ceiling fan, nice ceiling treatment, LED lights up top, frosted glass, slider going here into the bathroom, nice. And then straight in, check it out. Today I'm wearing a uh, Tommy Bahama shirt. This is actually from some clients. Um, Frank and Debbie gave this to me. So big thanks to those guys. So zero threshold, just straight entry into our shower with our nice large glass right here so it still feels really nice and open. And 
Got your faucets over on this side. And it looks like these are like one foot by three or four foot wide tile up here going all the way up to the ceiling, of course. Little touches, attention to detail. Some places, and most homes, you know, we would grout that on the side, getting this extra metal strip. Nice big picture window. Got windows that do open up top. I don't know if those latches are coming through for you or not. Um, up above, shower head. And then I love this textured tile that we have on this back wall. Coming all the way down. And then your handheld wand. A couple cutouts. Really good job on that. And then I like this, uh, this mirror because you can go power it off. You can power it on. You can put it on night mode. Um, you can turn the intensity, take it off night mode, turn the intensity up, make it even stronger. Um, really nice on that. I like it when we have our faucets coming straight out of the wall. And then we have our European style sink, or I'm sorry, toilet. So the big push buttons, little button, big button. Let you guys figure that out. But the tank is out in the back. There's no tank on the back of that. Really nice. And then a beautiful door going here into the closet with a nice built-in. Stay tuned, you're gonna see some even better built-ins. Not bad for your little studio extra unit. Pretty, pretty good. Check out these blinds. I'm not sure what they look like going down. I might be able to, uh, there's gonna be a really special feature to show you here later on. I can just shut this house down with the touch of a button. And I think the blinds come down when you do that. So I'm gonna bring that to you as well. Look at these pillars, look how big this is. And then the work to just sort of angle that out, giving it a nice solid base architecturally. So it's wider and then as it goes up, it gets thinner. I'm not sure if that's gonna come in on camera or not. Looks like you can tell a little bit there. Stained uh, concrete down here in this area on a gray. Uh, looks really, really nice, of course. And then going back through here, Nice, huge glass door entrance. As soon as you even come here, before you go into the house, you can see out. I know the camera's not doing it now, but the ocean is as clear as a bell all the way through there. Really nice, large area, um, really good. Let's get inside, and pick it up from there. Let's pick it up right here at the entry here at the front door. Just came in our big old slider here. And uh, just so you know, you can also, these are Fleetwood doors. You could also keep it open and just have the screen uh, going there. So you got more airflow coming through. We got that nice tile uh, on the wall as you come in here and you can see it all around. So again, blending the outside in is something that we really love out here. Gorgeous staircase going up. I'll go upstairs and check that out for you in a minute. Oh, nice little area here. Oh, this is a perfect little gaming area is what that is. You got the TV going right here. Kids can sit here and play games or they just want to sit and play on their devices. Ash them down under here. Um, let me back out a little bit here. We could put some things in here. Dress that up a little bit. Some artwork. Be really nice on that. And then coming in here to the main living area dining kitchen i'm gonna do a little bit of a pan here so you can take it in and then we're going to start looking at some details because there's a lot of things that you're not going to notice right off the bat right now that are going to come into play so let's start over here in our living room we're keeping this nice tile on the wall absolutely gorgeous look at all that a lot of different things to control but we do have some possible shortcuts they call that foreshadowing, guys. Uh, AC unit up here. Nice big windows. Huge TV built in. And then, yeah, really like that look. Furniture is absolutely gorgeous. De the styling and designing in here is on point. Absolutely stunning. And you're going to see these cabinets here even more. I know we saw it in that first guest room that we had. They did some things with these cabinets in some of the rooms that are really cool. Pocket slider, we got it closed right now. AC's on, nice and comfortable in here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Those look to be about four foot each. So let's call it a 24 foot pocket slider. Fleetwood doors, glass, and then you also have the screens if you wanna open it up and get the airflow going through. So a lot on that. And then check out the ceiling treatment that we have over here in our living room with our really gorgeous white fan. It's kind of that white glossy 
look on that. We're gonna carry that throughout a lot of the house. See the other fan over here. And then, nice design. Check out that light back there at the entryway. I missed that because it was over my head. Um, nice job of blending in the white and the wood. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. You can see it at this table. I feel like you could maybe, maybe even fit in a little bit more um, with this uh, gorgeous, it's a frosted glass. Looks like a, a course, but it's a frosted glass on that. And then check out the kitchen. Guys, you know, you know I'm loving this kitchen. Um, you guys know what I like. Um, tons of cabinet space, everything, I'm sorry, countertop, counter space. Uh, everything's at the counter depth. We're gonna look at all these appliances in detail. Um, gorgeous quartz countertop with a double waterfall. Uh, I think we saw that on another house just the other day. Oh, I like this. This is uh, this is what I think it is. Hit that, and got an electric outlet. Nice. Stays hidden. Waterfall. Book matched. So our lines line up. The veins. And then a nice huge sink with two faucets. Check that out. So this is a good work sink with your push button disposer. Disposal. We'll save that discussion again for another day. Continuing on down, another sink with your view outside to that awesome ocean. And then we switch from the quartz that has the lines in it to the solid white quartz. Now, here's pay attention here, real quick, guys. Do you notice anything about these cabinets? Probably don't. I didn't at first. And it's not just that they're book matched, because they are. So it looks really good that lines flow from one cabinet to the other. There's no line in between. This big whole thing opens up and reveals the other drawers. Really, really nice. You like that? So you do have to pull two things open, but you don't have lines for every single drawer. And now when you continue that all the way around this kitchen, it's really, really awesome. We have some room here for some gadgets. So here it makes sense. Get quick access to the gadgets and the pots and the pans. Of course, you're gonna have slide outs on these appliance garages, more of these drawers. I mean, absolutely awesome. Oh, look, this one swings out. And see if I can pull it with one hand up yeah it can keep going i just ran out of uh dexterity because i'm holding the camera so that's really nice i love the the tops on these gotta close that one um over here nice spice rack more full overlay european boxes um white enamel oh check that out Nice. Um, these aren't your basic cabinets, guys. All right, Miele on our microwave here. And why have one when you can have two at twice the price? Um, actually, I think that's a like an air fryer uh, toaster oven. And this one's the microwave. Uh, the Miele coffee maker. Got our oven. Nice. And then... All right, we're talking about refrigerator drawers here, and here, and here. Regular drawer, another refrigerator drawer, ice maker, refrigerator number one. Look at that, guys. I mean, geez, there's just so much going on here. Gorgeous. We have that same ceiling treatment in here that we had over in the living room. I mean, they are absolutely knocking it out of the park with this one. Unbelievable. But wait, there's more. Yeah. So we come around and we have a half bath over here, European style uh, toilet again. Nice granite countertop on that, or sorry, quartz countertop on that. But we come in here and what do we have? It's another refrigerator. I told you there was dual. And then you need more spice racks or flower racks and all kinds of just goodies accessible. There you go. Um, 
Oh, another ice maker. I didn't even see that till now. Gift wrapping station. I mean, these cabinets, look how these things articulate. I mean, really, really nice. I mean, it just continues on and on, guys. I mean, just regular storage is done in these gorgeous cabinets. I, I mean, the build out for the cabinets alone, like for real. Washer and dryer, utility sink. Um, they went and just knocked it absolutely out of the park. Coming in here, have our electric sub panel, a little more. <laughs> um, wow, stainless steel down there. That's really smart. Holy cow. So, you know, sometimes these things leak. I mean, it doesn't matter how expensive your house is, plumbing can leak. Uh, and a lot of times these are wood, make it stainless steel. You don't have to worry about it ruining now, do you? Okay, rubbish, more refrigerator space. Wow, Ref uh, <laughs> beverage cooler. I mean, this is just, I keep opening things because I just don't know what else I'm gonna find next. More built-ins, I mean, every kind of, oh man, another big slider for this thing. Talk about knocking it out of the park, guys. Unbelievable, excellent job on that. And then look at our hanging lights that we have over here. Finishing everything off. So, is that a good kitchen, guys, or what? I don't even, oh yeah, I didn't even talk about. Uh, we lay cooktop with our pot filler. And I think this is a controller for our vent, which is up there. There you go. Is this gonna be good for your entertaining? By the way, I think you gotta give me a thumbs up and a subscribe for opening all those cabinets. Who else is gonna do that and show you everything? Okay, well, I have a feeling you guys are gonna to wanna to check out the exterior. I figured that I can't delay too long to give you guys uh, the shot that you want. Uh, ocean front with the pool and the view from right here. So uh, it doesn't get much closer than this in Hawaii. So you know, um, in Hawaii, there is no shoreline ownership uh, of the land. We have a law called PASH, Public Access to Shoreline Habitat. You can't own the beach, you can't own all the way to the water. So you can own close to it, and that's what this one does. But there's always gonna be a buffer for the most part, unless you have a really a unique property that has some weird grandfathering in. You won't have all the way to the water pretty much anywhere in the entire state of Hawaii. So just understand that this is as good as it gets uh, for oceanfront here in Hawaii. We have this huge uh, covered lanai area. I think we'll have the details down in the description or in the link to the property that I'll have in the description up near the top. It's gonna have a lot of the data on this house. Um, but you're looking at about 14 feet by 40 feet or so. I mean, I'm just spitballing, but uh, really, really big, maybe even 50 feet now that I'm looking at it. Huge covered area, and this is all area that you're going to use if you own the property. You can see we have a pretty substantial table here. This could seat 10, uh, no problem. And the house sleeps at least 10, I think. Um, so you gotta be able to uh, live all those people if you're here as a vacation rental, if you're using this partially as an investment. Um, you wanna be able to not just sleep 10 people, but feed 10 people. You have to have space for all that. So really cool, plenty of space out here. And now we have this awesome outdoor kitchen. Uh, got the coarse countertop with the outdoor sink. Plenty of storage down below uh, here on these cabinets. And we got the little burner top. We have the grill. We have the vent up above, uh, and then we have the staircase leading down. I do want to point out a couple things. They are still using the big, large format tiles out here. They didn't change that. We still have the exterior tile down here on these columns with the stucco up top. And then, of course, uh, as you might expect on a house like this, glass on this down below so that when you're coming out, even when you are at the front door, like I mentioned at the very beginning, when you come through, there's really nothing blocking your view of the ocean. There's no slats from a railing or anything that's required by code. By doing it this way, it's just, it literally just disappears uh, and pulls your eye up to, to the water, which is what you're wanting to do. Let's go down and check out what we got down here at the pool. 
I like how they have these little uh, rubber things here on the steps so you don't slip with your wet feet up here on the tile. Uh, looks like we got the black basalt coping going around the pool. And then check out the size of that. Um, what are they calling that? Uh, a sun deck. Uh, all tiled on that. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And then the steps down to the rest of the pool. Nice, wide, long, square pool. Infinity edge on one, two, three sides. Gorgeous. Plenty of room. You could put out more stuff here. You could put a table and chair out here if you want. You could have more loungers, uh, more umbrellas. We've got an outdoor shower right here just to hose off. Um, really nice. We're fully fenced going around. That's required by code. And then we have a gate going out. Looks like they're in the process of putting in a keypad. And then you can take the trail right out there. I think I'm going to have to go put my shoes on and try that out here before we finish the video. Stay to the end. I'll get to you the ocean front view. Um, good space down here. I mean, if you're having yourself a little property that you want to use and have fun and then use as a vacation rental, I mean, this thing for the people that are going to come here is going to rent out really, really good. Obviously, you're going to monetize this at a really high number per night. I'd love to hear what they're doing it at. I can't imagine being less than five grand a night. Could easily be 10 grand. All right, let's keep it going. Okay, guys, next we're here back towards the center staircase heading up. And we're going to go check out back towards the Malka section here on the lower level. And you see they did a really nice job. That exterior tile that we saw going around the house, bringing that back inside, blending the interior and the exterior together. And that continues to come through this large, huge plate glass window back to our entry. Really cool because you see those same tiles out there. So there's other ways to bring the outside in that are not as obvious. Now, I don't know if you noticed it, but right here on the other side, we have a frosted glass door so you can still have privacy when you have it closed. But then you open up this nice slider that rolls pretty easy, really. And you have an office set up in here. Uh, it's own AC system. Looks like they're doing a little work on the fan. No biggie on that. But you have your office set up and uh, you can close it off and, you know, be shut down and not have anyone disturbing you or you could keep it open coming back we have another bedroom another beautiful single panel large solid wood door going in and immediately as we turn to our right we have a nice built-in right here wonderful work and these are the you know the same cabinets that we've seen uh, throughout excellent quality and then our white quartz on the countertop. Uh, white full overlay gloss on our doors on the European style boxes on those. And then we can open this door for another closet with another built-in. And then continue to the end suite, our built-in European toilet again. Nice large sink, faucet coming straight out. Wonderful mirror on that. Uh, with the lights built in that same tile that we saw in our front um, guest I guess you call it a guest house uh, I love these waves and the way they look the way it makes that whole that whole shower will look zero threshold entry of course that long drain down at the bottom uh, looks like we do have a pocket door with another frosted glass partition right there so a little privacy if you're sharing in this uh, wonderful uh, uh, secondary bedroom um, here. So, yeah, we got that same tile as the back as the uh, accent wall going all the way up. Wonderful blinds, great hardware slider going out. That's back towards the front entry. Huge built-in. I'm guessing this has a TV in it. Um, looks like it comes uh, comes up the way that's set up, and. Um, We've got a king size bed, Eastern King bed there, plenty of room. What a great room. Like, this is the worst room in the house, I think. That's it. It's as bad as it gets, guys. Uh, and then back here to our staircase and our uh, central area. Okay, guys, let's take a look upstairs where we see the owner's suite, which is pretty spectacular. And what do you think about this staircase? Holy smokes, this is gorgeous. Love the woodwork on here. And this staircase is killing it. All right, we have our landing area up here. There's a lot to get to even up in this area. 
mentioned the bookcase, check out our ceiling treatment. Got that tile still Come in this door. Have a washer and dryer up here. And, oh, you got places to hang stuff? Excellent. Really nice. So, you know, we had the washer and dryer downstairs. So now we have one up here for the owners as well. And our utility sink. And then we can close that off. We have, let's see, one, two, three bedrooms up here. Let's start off with the owner's suite. I know you guys are wanting to see that right off the bat. We're not going downstairs for coffee, not at $10 million, folks. We're gonna have our coffee right here. We're gonna have our little cooler right here for refrigerating things. We are set up for having everything that we need right up here. Uh, really nice job on that. Of course, countertops. Again, our white glossy full overlay cabinets up top. And we have a couple closets in here. This one's open for us to see. You can see we have this wonderful built-in and a place to hang clothes on the left and on the right. A little closet in here. There is another closet here, but the owners have it locked out right now. They have their personal belongings there. And that's what you would probably do as a rental. And then here we go. We got our nice large pocket slider here out to our ocean. We have our own owner's deck. Do we have this unlocked? Let's unlock this. We have an owner's deck up here with our view out to our ocean, pool down below. I mean, what else could you want? You got your own lanai, private. It actually wraps around a little bit, goes down the side here, touch. Lots of space on that. Oh, nice, they have a little water spigot right here, concealed, so if you need to hose this off when you have your cleaners out here, you can do that. We'll close these Fleetwood, really nicely sliding pocket sliders. Open windows on this side. Look at that nice big vent that we have for our air conditioner up there. Ceiling treatment looks gorgeous. Furniture's great. Pop-up TV here in our, in our little uh, built-in that we have. Plenty of space. King-size bed. Obviously, there's a lot of space. You're not going to have to worry about that. Sliding glass door here. Entry into and closing into our bathroom with our own pocket slider going out to that lanai. Freestanding tub, absolutely gorgeous. Makeup area. I mean, I love what they've done here by going with the full overlay on that and then the drawers all down below. Sink one, sink two coming right out. We got those mirrors again, backlit, gorgeous. Step right into our shower. Got our knobs right here to turn everything on. We have a wand, we got our textured wall. We got our rain head up top. We have that one foot by three foot. I mean, this feels just nice. And then check it out. You got your mirror right here in the shower. And then you can go outside here. You have access out to another private lanai. Really great on that. And then privacy door here for the toilet. And more shelving for towels and whatever you want to put there, really. Your house. Really nice owner's suite. I like that you have all this built in down here with the coffee maker and you can keep snacks and stuff down below. Super thoughtful. Coming around the corner, another bedroom. So let's see, we had one, two downstairs. Three, four, three upstairs, three, four, five. King size bed, plenty of space. We got about four feet on either side. Window looking up Malka of the, the mountain. Ceiling treatment, that nice white ceiling fan that we've seen. TV, plenty of space to put in another piece of furniture there if you want. But you got your built-in right here. Excellent built-in for like an, a secondary bedroom. Excellent amount of closet space for a secondary bedroom. Again, that nice, big, beautiful door that we have there. Uh, pocket slider here into the ensuite bathroom, ensuite bathroom. I always get that wrong. And then, I don't know if we've seen this texture before in here. I like it too. Staying white with the knobs on this side. 
get the temperature right, then step into the shower with our wand. And up top, we have our shower head, toilet, sink, another bedroom. Pardon me if I'm moving too fast for you guys. I know this is gonna be a longer video. And then continuing on into this room. Okay, another great closet. I mean, this, I, I gotta find out what this rents for tonight because it's gonna be high. Oh, a slightly different countertop in here. I like the sparkly quartz. See that firing off? Almost like glitter. Looks great. We've got two sinks there, so it's like a dual basin. It's one basin, but it's like a dual sink. Um, definitely set up for two people with this double uh, on the mirror. Toilet over there in the corner. Uh, a slightly different backsplash tile. So it's like each tile has a little bit different in these bathrooms. Um, of course, that drain down below. Knobs as soon as you walk in with the shower heads on the other side. Wonderful built-ins over here. I mean, super good attention to detail. Workspace. <laughs> so use this as a little office or the kids can use it as a computer area. If they're having to do homework, you're going to come here for a few weeks, pull the kids out of school. Um, they're going to still have to do their work. They have this set up with three twin beds in here. You got plenty of space. You can obviously do whatever setup you want to do in here for the beds because you've got the room for it. So one, two, three bedrooms upstairs. Uh, we had that bedroom downstairs. We had the guest house uh, bedroom downstairs. Check out these light fixtures. Check out this wall. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, the neighbors are doing some construction. They'll be done. It'll look great. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. All right, back downstairs. All right, here's something I'm gonna show you, secret feature. Um, Saul, the listing agent, Saul Brecker at Compass, big thanks for letting us bring this one to you guys. He showed me this, and everyone's gone now. We're on caravan, so there's been people in and out. All this house, all these lights, ceiling fans, everything. It can be so much. Let me hit it. Goodbye. The lights go off. The screens come down. The house shuts off. What do you think of that? <laughs> I think that is super cool. And then when he wants to put it on for showings, the smart system, hit it there. I don't know if you noticed, I didn't point it out intentionally, but I think almost every bedroom, if not every single bedroom, had this at the bedroom on the nightstand. So from any room in the house, you can shut the house off and on. You can come up with numerous different settings that you program into here to do whatever it is you need. We could have turned on the music. Um, the thermostat, I mean, all this right here, truly a smart home, absolutely special. Let's check out a little bit more, guys. Okay, guys, time to take our walk out to the ocean. Told you I'd bring this to you. Also a good time to talk about my three favorite things about the house. Let's start with number three. There's a, there's a ton to choose from. You could, you could put a top 10 list on here, let's be honest. Number three, I'm gonna go with the fact that it is a short-term vacation rental. I don't know if you saw it at the very beginning, but they had their short-term vacation rental placard up there. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It's also got solar PV, all that kind of stuff. So that stuff's really, really good. But I guess that's what I'm gonna put for number three. Number two, I'm, I mean, I can say the kitchen, I can say the built-ins, I can say the cabinets. I mean, just the overall design of the entire house uh, is absolutely incredible. Um, it's just absolutely perfect. Very good attention to detail. Um, absolutely stunning. My favorite thing is that it's oceanfront Hawaii, currently listed at $10 million. Listen, uh, I got my contact information down below. I think you saw it earlier in the video. Uh, have me send you a list of every oceanfront house in the state of Hawaii, and I challenge you to find anything remarkably or remotely close to this house at this price, oceanfront Hawaii. If you go up the coast to the resorts, uh, to Hualalai, to Kukio, to Mauna Lani, Mauna Kea, if you can even find anything oceanfront, you're gonna be looking at nearly double the price. Uh, well, Kukio or Hualalai, if there was something, be closer to 50 million. You go to Oahu, you go to Maui, you go to Kauai, you go and look at a place, uh, you'll find a $10 million house here or there, and it's gonna be a 30-year-old house uh, that doesn't have this kind of construction. This is actually, I know 10 million is a lot of money, and, but there's a handful of you out there who are ready to pull the trigger on something like that. This is actually a value. I'd love to work with you on it. My contact information is down below. I'm always gonna bring you 
some of the best homes that we have here in Hawaii. Hope to see you again real soon.